So if you've been building uh, this AI voice agent, uh, other than answering calls, you'd also want them to be embedded on your website. And uh, if you've been working with 11 Labs for long, a while back, you'd realize uh, it, it, it was a bit difficult to add this, but they, they made this super simple to implement on your website. So let's take, for example, you've built your, your voice agent and you've integrated it with your N810 workflow and you've built it on 11 Labs. Uh, there's this new, there's this new tab. It's called widget. So you're going to click on it. And uh, from what you can see, uh, this right here is a preview of the widget. And uh, you have a ton of options. You can customize it. Oh, and by the way, I'll leave a link to the video that's explaining how this workflow is, uh, uh, does its job. I'll leave a link in the description or up here. And okay, let's go back. Now this is what I, I had built. So it's a, it's a clinic appointment agent. So it takes uh, clinic appointments. And, uh, and from what you see, uh, other than uh, guys calling in the, the, so other than guys calling in the clinic to, to make an appointment, I would also like to embed this widget on the website. Uh, so that uh, when a visitor uh, comes to the website, they can either chat or they can uh, do a voice call. And they've made it super simple. Uh, let me show you an example. So to implement this a while back, it would have uh, been a hell of a job. But uh, right now, the only thing you need to do is uh, just simply embed this code on your website. So you'll click, you'll copy this HTML code and embed it on your website. And you've also got a ton of options. So for example, you might also choose to accept text inputs other than voice. You can also accept text inputs. You can allow switching to text on the mode. You can also turn on the the, the conversation transcript. So while you are speaking with it on voice, uh, the, the, it, it shows on chat. You can also uh, choose to add a language dropdown. And that's if you had, in your agent settings, you had selected an additional language. So let's say we had selected Arabic and Chinese. You go back to your widget and you'll have the ability to have the language drop down. And you can also enable muting during the call. And you have all these settings to configure this widget. So you can change the color. So you can change it to, to that or black. You can change the second color. Uh, you can change everything, the base, the hover, the base active, the base uh, border, the accent, all this. You can even change uh, the label. So you can say, you can change it to something else. Uh, You can either change, yeah, you, you can change it to contact us. You can change the, the text on this button. You have all this flexibility. And you can also change the terms and conditions right there. And then for the shareable page, you can also write a description for it. This is just the link to this widget. So let's hit save. And the beauty of this is you can test it in real time. So you can click start a chat, uh, click accept, and you have the ability to test it. Uh, 
and you can see how it looks. So we had we had accepted the language dropdown. So this API is the language dropdown. Send a message so we can start a call. Hello, welcome to County Clinic. How may I help you today? Yeah, that's all to it. Now to embed it on your website, you will go ahead. Once you've done uh, configuring the widget, you'll save this. So let's say you want the compact, let's say you want this compact uh, widget. Uh, you're going to hit save. You're going to copy this HTML code. You're going to go to your, to, to your website editor and you're going to add a custom HTML. So it's, it's embed. And in my case, I'm going to add uh, embed code. So I'm using Wix. And uh, we are going to enter code. Select enter code. And you are going to paste it here and hit update. Once you do so, it's going to appear on your website. So let me delete the, the sorry. And so we can preview and test this on your site. And that's simply how to add uh, a voice AI agent on your website.